Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm sick, in more ways than one. I'm sick of being ill, but I'm also sick of AMD's long boot times for AM5 platform. So let's go over to the computer and show you how to make it just a little bit quicker, although potentially a little bit more unstable, if that is even possible. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to improve the AM5 boot times on your new AMD system. With DDR5, there is a lot more training that goes on, and some systems are more prone to it than others, depending on your RAM, configurations, etc., etc. But there is a way that you can make things a little bit faster. Now, there is a caveat. If your system is slightly unstable, this may actually make it, well, more unstable. So, obviously, buyer beware. Try this, see how it works out for you, and actually do let me know in the comments how it actually helps out your system. If it makes it better, if it makes it faster, it should make it faster, but it may also make it crash. So anyway, let's go to the computer. So this is the boss of the B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is change into the advanced mode, go into OC, and scroll down on this side here, until so you find memory context restore. Now basically what this does is if you have a boot which is successful and the RAM has been already trained, you can actually make it so that the next time the system reboots, it doesn't have to retrain the RAM, which currently as most AM5 systems are, it does it every single time. You'll probably find that this is set to auto on your particular system, potentially disabled. I've got mine disabled because I'm having other issues with mine, but that's another story. But if you choose enabled, basically, as it says over on the side there, this will configure the memory context restore mode when enabled, DRAM retraining is avoided when possible, and the post latency is minimized. So actually, let's take a quick look now. So this is how fast the system boots with the system disabled or just set to auto. And as you'll see from this boot up, so from the time we press the power button, I'll fast forward through it anyway, but realistically, it's the best part of a whole minute to actually get to our Windows desktop. Whereas if we change it now and go and set it to enabled and then save it, let it reboot a couple of times so that it remembers the settings, the fastest possible is basically half the time. So from the moment I press the power button to actually getting into Windows, we're looking at somewhere about 30 seconds. So that's half a minute. It's not great, but it is 50%, so it is a little bit better. And potentially, depending on your RAM and configuration, yours may be even quicker. If it is, let me know in the comments section. So there you go. There's a relatively straightforward way of actually making your AM5 system a little bit quicker. Again, like I said, potentially it could make it more unstable because if the system is having to retrain the RAM pretty much every boot, which in theory it shouldn't do, but AM5 is a very new platform and some weird things are going on, especially with my system. It looks like mine is... Uh, very unhealthy indeed. Anyway, that's for me to worry about, not you. So let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. If you've got any other questions or comments, feel free to reach out in the comment section below or over on our Discord channel. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.